All right, Steve Arthur here with the January 2021 Real Estate Report. And crazy things are happening out. Homes are selling. They're selling fast. Prices just took a little bit of a dive, but not much. And I just want to clarify one quick thing. I was having a conversation with one of my clients and he didn't quite understand how I break down these reports. So I showed him the difference between a median price home and the average price home. The average price home is somebody could really want this home and they're going to pay anything regardless of what it is. So that can be an overpriced home. On the other side of the spectrum, you can have somebody inherited a house, it's a brother or sister, and one wants the house so they just want to pay off the other. That's going to show as a sale of a pretty low value. So what the median does, it gets rid of those outliers, the high ones and the low ones, and it just concentrates on the ones that are just comparable to that neighborhood. And I also, he had questions about how I break down the pricing of it. So what I do is I do a combined pricing of single family residents, condos, and townhomes. So what I'm going to do in this report is I'm going to break down the whole thing in general. I'm going to do single family residents, condos, and townhomes on its own separate for LA County and also for Long Beach. All right, let's get started. Well, closed sales for LA County, we had 4,655. Now that sounds like a lot, but it's not. Because especially when you only added 6,149 new listings, leaving us with a 2.2 month supply. Just so that you know, a neutral healthy market is six months. So now we're gonna go to the medium sales price of all property types. So the median sales price is at 722. Now we go to single family residents, we're looking at $788,000. And that is down from $795,000. Let's go to condos. Condos we're looking at $500,000. And that is down from $525,000 in December. Townhomes. We're looking at $607,000, and that is actually up $7,000 in the last 30 days. Okay, now moving over to Long Beach. Well, Long Beach had closed sales of 251, but when you add new listings to that, we have 262, which leaves us with a 1.8 month supply. And remember, we need that six month supply to be a neutral, healthy market. So now we go to the medium price homes and we're doing all property types here in Long Beach, $620,000. And that is down from $642,500 in the last 30 days. Single family residents, $760,000 is the median price. And that is up from $755,000. So up $5,000 in the last 30 days. Condos, we are looking at $417,500. And that is down $453,500. Townhomes, we're looking at $640,000. And that has slipped down $15,000 from $655,000. So what does this mean to you as a buyer? Well, if you've been seriously thinking about buying and just not pulling that trigger yet, I would seriously pull that trigger now. Because what could happen is you'll be looking at that same house down the road and if prices still continue to rise like they have been in the past, interest rates are at this all time low exact same house could end up costing you thousands and thousands of dollars more and may end up getting priced out of the market. So if you're a seller, it's just simple supply and demand. Your home is very much in demand right now. So if marketed right, you will receive multiple offers over asking price. Average days on market right now for Long Beach is at 13 days on the market before accepting the contract. 
So I hope you found this information helpful. Now, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I will answer them. If, if you need to get hold of me, all you have to do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website for your free gift. And I will personally reach out to you so we can discuss your real estate goals here in Long Beach. Until next time, you just have an amazing day. That's all, folks.